guys, what's up? It's Matt from Get Speed Back. Um, taking a quick stretch break before tonight's 1909 Accelerator class from six to nine. Uh, should be a good one, all about MVPs, building MVPs, uh, trying to figure out what your value proposition is. We're, we're a little bit past that now, as a result of just being a little bit older than some of the other companies. Um, having more experience, but also participating in the FAU Tech Runway program. So we're sort of past MVP building, but at the same time, I think it's really important to, to go over again because we can apply the MVP mentality to everything else we're doing. I mean, you when you're building out new features, when you're redesigning things, you can have this, this you know, do what it takes to get it done. Um, very manual approach just to test and see if things work. It's sort of like what we've been doing with uh, using customer interviews to, to prove some of our hypotheses. I mean, all an MVP is, is a way for you to prove a concept. So as long as we keep that way of thinking, it'll enable us to move a lot more quickly, get a lot more stuff done, learn more quickly, maybe fail a little bit more quickly, but the iteration process is sped up. So uh, I'm very excited for tonight. I'm very excited to see what other people think about MVPs because we have people in various stages of, of their product development um, in many different types of businesses as well. So uh, that really gets to the core of what I wanted to just chat about really quickly, which is having this learning mentality. It's definitely been ramped up as a result of starting um, a startup. Uh, basically, whenever whenever I'm not working, I'm consuming content, trying to learn from other people, other people's experiences. And I just figured I'd chat about the different ways that, that I go about doing that. Um, because it may be helpful to other people. Really, <laughs> what I do when I'm when I'm out and about commuting or, or exercising, whatever is I'm like an avid podcaster. Uh, I've really picked up on uh, a few really good ones that happen to pertain to where we are um, with regards to like a B2B SaaS software product, but also others that are just generally applicable to the entrepreneurial process. Um, actually, let me put this down see if I can find some good ones. How I Built This Podcast by NPR. If you don't know about it already, it's like the go-to entrepreneurial storytelling podcast. People love it. Uh, another one, My First Million. That's a great one, sort of no holds barred about <laughs> grinding, hustling, getting things done, building up businesses. Uh, they're definitely a couple personalities, uh, but they know what they're talking about and they've proven it in the businesses that, that they've owned and operated and some really fun, great stories, high volume of content. They come out with an episode like every day. So there's always something you can just jump on. Another good one, Indie Hackers. That's a, a community I actually joined uh, online. Uh, it's actually run by Stripe now, but it's, it's like the greatest community of people who just want to help each other. Uh, this podcast is basically just um, them interviewing people uh, on the platform or who have been successful in building up their own indie projects into, into larger businesses. Startups for the Rest of Us, that's a fantastic podcast having to do with uh, SaaS products specifically, which, which is really <laughs> helpful for us. Um, really good episodes lately uh, having to do with sales, starting up the sales process. Um, business development. And so this has been something I've been listening to a lot. Lastly, the failery podcast. Uh, this is a good one. The episodes are basically about people who started up companies, failed and learned from them as they built up their, their new, their new businesses. So, um, some really good stuff there. <laughs> Obviously also listen to other entertaining stuff. So you have to make sure that you're balancing <laughs> the two, you know, trying to drive as much information into your brain as you can, but also giving yourself a break. Some other stuff that I do or other stuff that I try to pay attention to for, for learning is reading books. Um, the two most helpful books that I've read so far during this process have been The Mom Test and Talking to Humans. Both books having to do with figuring out how to run 
really good customer interviews, not asking leading questions, getting to the core of a customer's problem, determining if they have a problem even, and then maybe even seeing if you can weave your solution in, but all without sort of <laughs> giving up any, any information that may lead them down the wrong path. Those are two really good ones. I just started reading How to Make Friends and Influence People, um, another like top 10 book uh, that everyone talks about. Um, really, really cool stuff, even though it's a little outdated. I mean, the principles still apply and I actually, I try to apply them now in all the conversations I have trying to influence people softly and in the right way uh, to help us out. So podcasts, books, um, and also just, just general conversations. So like a lot of the people I meet or the customer interviews we have may not be the right people that we need to speak with necessarily, but they'll have these like little nuggets that you may not be aware of or open to unless you're like in this active, like learning state of mind. Um, as an example, we like just had a phone call with this guy who, you know, I wanted to interview him. He, he said he had some experience running um, employee performance reviews. Turns out he sort of kind of does, but he did it in a very like informal manual way. Um, but after digging a little bit deeper, we found that he had the, this, this core problem having to do with anonymity and privacy. And that was throwing off uh, employees and the responses um, he was getting, he was able to give, things like that. And that's something that we definitely need to address as we, as we build out our product. I, I guess it just, just want to reiterate the, the value and the benefit you can get out of being open. So like before this, you know, I thought I knew what I needed to know or I would get the information I needed in order to build this business into a success. But, and, and I would be sort of closed off to having conversations with people who weren't in the space who, or who I didn't think could, could benefit me directly. But really turning things around has opened up all sorts of doors. Like uh, I've been able to make new connections mentally. I've been able to pick up these little tidbits and apply them to our business. So it really is beneficial to be, be a sponge, absorb information, even if it's not directly related to what you're doing, something could come out of there and make a huge difference for your business. And also be part of a community, a community of people be willing to help other people because you never know the people who might come back or the information that, that might come back to you. So I think that's a huge benefit of us taking part in a couple accelerators is not only the mentorship and the knowledge, but just the fact that we can sort of riff off of other people and learn from the spaces they're in. So um, all good stuff, <laughs> really just, you know, part, part of being a startup founder is is being a student and recognizing that you don't know everything and you know you don't even know what you don't know and so you have to be open you have to be willing to learn you have to be willing to talk to people and just consume as much as you can and eventually you'll start to build up a better knowledge base or um you know improve the standing of your product just just because you're passively participating um, and, and taking a more active approach to your own understanding. So anyway, it was just sort of like a, a quick conversation I wanted to have, quick tidbit. Very much looking forward to the class tonight. Hopefully gonna get some good nuggets out of that and uh, catch up with you guys tomorrow.